Whoa, well, now Rise of Ground and Go Get It. I am your host, Mike Man, representing MBMG all day, every day. Back with another episode of Rap Woody TV. You know how we do it. Flame them if you got them. Big ass backwoods burning. Go ahead, bunch the subscribe button when it's loud. Lit, lit, loud, so perform because of COVID. I'm not fast. I need 12 feet, 6 for the COVID. So keep your pin ass blunt. Tap the notification button. We got the circle. Hey, man. YFN Lucci. Started the year off with alleged murder charges. And now, a few months later, well, four months later, to be precise, he's finding himself in a RICO act. Got hit with the RICO act amongst 12 or a dozen more people. Basically, it came out. Said Fulton County Grand Jury on Friday handed up. The 105 count indictment that resulted from a six month investigation. Atlanta Police Depart- Deputy Chief Charles Hampton said at a news conference Tuesday it includes racketeering, aggravated assault, murder, gun, armed robbery, property damage, theft, and gang related charges. And the indictment alleges that. Each of the 12 people charged is associated with subgroups of the National Blood Gang. It says they had connections and relationships to each other and accuses them of committing a wide variety of crimes to protect and enhance the gang's reputation and to gain and maintain control of territory. And, of course, with YFN Lucha being the big dog, you know he's gonna be looked at like the head on show or one of them if they have all these subgroups. So with the subgroups, that being said, somebody sub snitching. Like I say, the first of the year, January to be exact. That's when the murder charges came out. You had TMZ, everybody reporting. That basically the shit was looking like the end for him. But if you don't know how the shit works by now, you will see that once you get brought up on some charges and if it's some serious, serious shit, oh, they'll let you pay your money to bond out or they'll let you go free and get back to resuming your life making money or whatever. But one day we will be back and it will not be no you returning home or ankle mountain to this and all that but when they come back the second time they coming back you don't it. but it's fucked up because you know why and Lucci he hmm, he's he's absolutely not a gang member and this indictment Collectively, purposely fails to say that Mr. Bennett is nationally or intensely recognized music artist, but the indictment also cites social media postings by Bennett and others, as well as song lyrics alleging they are proof of gang involvement and other criminal activity. See, the shit motherfuckers doing online, social media. Didn't we just tell you about Casanova? Didn't we just tell you about Takashi 69? Didn't we just tell you about all these other rappers? Now, recently, Honeycomb Brazy getting caught up in shit. Like, bro, Blueface getting caught up in shit now. Like, didn't y'all just see the previous rapper before you just get filmed up in some bullshit, i.e., social media? They were being watched on social media and now they jammed up. You think these motherfuckers would learn. But it's all about a one up on the next man. And it, it, it's, it's sad that it's like that. But that's the world that we live in. It's 
society as we know it now. But yeah, why why FN Lucci hit along with a dozen others or so with the Rico charges, gang charges, gun charges, and murder. So all those charges, somebody's about to be singing. And just like Casanova, man, you know, these guys are looking at some big time. And you're looking at some big time and you got big money, so to speak, per se. You ain't trying to ride away in jail and your money just gone. Right? So, guarantee you, all of these cases, motherfuckers are about to get to snitching like Takashi, <clears throat> but Sam. But what, what's sad about the Takashi 69 and how everybody talks about the snitch factor and this and that. When your ass is on the line, firing squad, loading up, ready to gun your ass down. And you have that second thought and that epit- epiphany that, yeah, you don't want to go through with it now. You, you want to take the easy way out well not the easy way out but you want to take the route that will mean that your ass will continue to be here so the fucked up part is they're about to be a more and more Takashi 6 9 running around here because once these motherfuckers are getting hemmed up and then they start popping up up the beam like nothing. Hey, as you paid for it to get up out of there, I don't see you, you know, getting out of there no other way unless you cooperate. So, and paying for it is either your time or your money. So, those are two valuable resources to get your ass out of the situation, or you gonna talk. So, that's in your time. That's in your ride. You can get home back on the street. Safe. But I'm not saying that they're going to do this. But the possibility of years behind jail. And we just spent pandemic, almost two years in a pandemic quarantine situation. So you want to be in jail 30 more years locked up. Quarantine forever. Nah. So... In all these cases, a lot of these guys about to start talking. And they should be falling in line before you know it. But sad to say how everybody dogged Takashi 6 9 And really, you know, my opinion is y'all hear rat. But when it's time for your ass to be in this situation, because keep in mind, like I always say, they made first 48 for a reason. They made it for a reason. Because the vast majority of everybody that goes in that motherfucker and their ass is on the line, they sing it. So, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all think he gonna get his serious time? You think he not? You think he gonna pull up out of this? I don't know. There's some serious shit and there's a lot of motherfuckers involved. But you guarantee some of them gonna be singing and keep their shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Go ahead, press the subscribe button when it's loud. Live in a loud circle form because of COVID. I'm not passing. 12 feces for the COVID. Sit flipping and blood. You tap that notification button. We got several. I am your host, Mike Man, representing MBMG all day. More episodes wrap up with TV coming. Y'all stay safe, stay breezy, stay sanitized, stay dangerous, stay the fuck out the way. Yeah,